Hello everybody, welcome to Monday. Hope you're having a good one. So today I went to go take care of my driver's license, which takes me from being a South Dakota person, yes, to an Arizona person. And um, I wanted to talk about something that happens with the speeding ticket that I got. So there are several parts of this story and I'm just gonna stick to one part of it because there's just so many aspects to it. And one of the things that I had always talked to my husband about was in our society the way that we view accessories and the way that we view principles and morals. And one of the things that I had said to him one time was, um, yes, I totally love makeup and fashion, <laughs> but that, you know, just how people crave a certain principle or desire a certain, excuse me, no, I have to start that again. They don't crave a certain principle or desire. They crave like a certain handbag or a certain pair of jeans or something. That's what I was talking about, that I wish that as well as people craved like the newest nail polish, which I'm totally into, or whatever it is, that people felt that way about some sort of moral or principle or virtue or something that they were trying to, you know, uh, work towards in their life. So I used to talk about, you know, wouldn't it be great if I lived in a society where instead of people going to Kitson and saying, oh yeah, I got the, the newest whatever, I'm going to call it, um, yeah, I picked up um, some excellence in pursuit of blah, 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 blah over at Kitson today, you know, for whatever amount of money it was. So that's kind of what I feel happened to me in a sort of a strange way with my speeding ticket. Because, yes, I'm having to pay this money or go to school or whatever it is, but the gift to me from that was gratitude. And I, and I briefly mentioned it, but I wanted to talk about it because it's pretty significant change in the way that I experience myself in the world ever since then. And it's one of those like life epiphanies where people talk about when they have like um, a near death experience. And I find it really strange because, you know, I had this epiphany, this experience that happened during when I had the speeding ticket. And I had this like two days of bliss. And then after that, you know, that's when I had the stroke. And because of that timing, it was sort of like, I was so happy to be there. I didn't really care what was going on that because of that, I didn't fight what was happening. I just did what I had to do while I was there. And I didn't really have any attachment to the outcome in the sense that I was scared or I was nervous. I mean, yes, I had those emotions briefly, but it wasn't like the pervading experience of that event. So one of the things that happened when I got pulled over was <laughs> that the guy who stopped me, and I've never had this happen before, usually, you know, they'll just pull you off to the side. Well, I guess the street was too busy, and so he had me pull around the corner, and it was, so it was off to the side. And I felt like we were invisible or something. And um, I felt like I was in this, I mean, people always talk about vortexes and um, deserts and stuff. And I felt like I was in one, you know, like in Sedona, people talk about stuff like that. I felt like I was in one that was just like bathing me with all this gratitude. And everything that we exchanged, like verbally, it was really funny because the guy, I mean, I know that they all dress in uniforms, but, and it wouldn't have happened if I don't work for the YMCA. But this is what, what was making me laugh so hard was the guy was riding a bike. Okay. He wasn't in a car. So he was riding a motorcycle and he had a mustache. And so when he asks me and he keeps asking me where I work, and I say YMCA, I'm thinking YMCA, you know? <laughs> and then I think that he's like making fun of me or that he thinks I'm making fun of him because he looks like the guy in the village people. But of course, no, they're all in the uniform because they have to be. <laughs> this is the things that are going on in my mind when I'm getting stopped. Anyways, the end result was gratitude. And that's what I'm so happy for. And um, yeah. It's been a lot better since then. <laughs> and uh, now I'm a state resident of Arizona. And Oh, and I even got not so bad a picture. So that was cool. And um, yeah, so maybe you'll come and visit me here. It'd be awesome. I'd love to have host you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope you're having a great day. And wishing you bright blessings. Take care. Yoga Angel 7.